feeling excited. I was raring to go. Means you were very eager and enthusiastic to start or do something. It indicates a high level of readiness and excitement. When the day of the race arrived, I was raring to go. I had been training for months and couldn't wait to finally compete. I was on the edge of my seat. Means you were very excited, anxious, or engaged in a situation, often because of suspense or anticipation. It suggests that you were eagerly awaiting the outcome of something. The movie was so thrilling that I was on the edge of my seat the entire time, eager to see what would happen next. I was bouncing off the walls. Means someone is very excited, energetic, or unable to sit still. It's often used to describe someone who is extremely hyperactive or enthusiastic. The children were so excited about the upcoming trip to the amusement park that they were bouncing off the walls with anticipation. I could hardly wait. Means you were very eager and impatient for something to happen. It indicates a strong desire for something to occur or for a particular moment to arrive. I could hardly wait to open my birthday presents. I was so excited about what might be inside. I couldn't wait to. A strong sense of anticipation and eagerness for something. It suggests that you were very excited and eager for a particular event or action to happen. I couldn't wait to start my new job. I was eager to meet my colleagues and begin working on exciting projects. Feeling impressed. It blew my mind. This used to convey that something was extremely impressive, surprising, or mind-blowing. It suggests that the experience or information was so astonishing that it had a profound impact on the person. Watching the fireworks display last night, it blew my mind. The colors and patterns were absolutely stunning. It blew me away.
This used to express that something was extremely impressive, surprising, or astonishing. It indicates that the person was deeply affected or impressed by the experience or information. Her performance in the play blew me away. I was completely captivated by her talent and stage presence. I was bowled over. Means you were extremely surprised, impressed, or overwhelmed by something. It suggests that you were deeply affected or astonished by a particular experience or event. When I received the unexpected promotion at work, I was completely bowled over. I never saw it coming. Feeling angry. To be beside myself. To be overwhelmed with emotion, usually to the point of being unable to think or act rationally. It can also indicate a feeling of being disconnected from oneself due to strong emotions such as shock, anger, or grief. When I saw the damage to my car caused by the reckless driver, I was beside myself with anger. To fly off the handle. To suddenly become very angry and lose control of one's emotions or behavior. It implies a quick and intense reaction to a situation that triggers strong emotions. When I told my boss about the mistake, he flew off the handle and started yelling at me in front of everyone. To lose my cool. To become angry, agitated, or upset in a situation where one would normally remain calm. It implies a loss of composure or self-control due to heightened emotions. When the customer started yelling at me, I tried to keep my cool, but eventually, I lost my cool and asked them to leave the store. My patience was pushed to the limit. Someone has tested your patience to the maximum extent, often implying that you can no longer tolerate the situation or behavior. It suggests that you have reached the point where you can no longer remain patient or calm.
When my children kept arguing and misbehaving in the car, my patience was pushed to the limit, and I had to pull over to address the situation. It makes my blood boil. Something is causing extreme anger or irritation. It implies that a situation or action is so infuriating that it elicits a strong emotional response. When I see people littering in the park, it makes my blood boil. Being frustrated. It got on my nerves. Something or someone has irritated or annoyed you. It suggests that a particular situation or behavior has caused you to feel agitated or frustrated. The constant noise from the construction site next door really got on my nerves while I was trying to work. It drove me up the wall. Something has caused extreme irritation, frustration, or annoyance. It implies that a situation or behavior has pushed someone to the point of exasperation or agitation. The constant barking of the neighbor's dog drove me up the wall while I was trying to study for my exams. It drove me round the bend. Something has caused extreme frustration, irritation, or exasperation. It implies that a situation or behavior has pushed someone to the point of feeling mentally overwhelmed or driven to the brink of their patience. The never-ending traffic jam on the way to work drove me round the bend, and I was late for an important meeting. I was banging my head against the wall. Someone is trying to accomplish something but they are not making any progress, often due to facing obstacles or difficulties. It implies a sense of frustration and feeling stuck in a situation despite one's efforts. I was trying to teach my grandmother how to use a computer, but it felt like I was banging my head against the wall because she just couldn't understand it.
That was the last straw. Particular event or action was the final in a series of irritating or upsetting things, and it caused a strong reaction or decision. It implies that the situation has reached a breaking point, and further tolerance or patience is no longer possible. After my roommate borrowed my clothes without asking for the third time, that was the last straw, and I decided to confront them about it. Feeling impatient I was running out of patience. Someone's patience is wearing thin or coming to an end. It suggests that the person is becoming increasingly frustrated and may soon reach a point where they can no longer tolerate a situation or behavior. After waiting for hours at the airport, I was running out of patience with the delayed flight. I was at my wit's end. Someone is extremely frustrated, distressed, or at a loss about what to do in a difficult situation. It implies a feeling of being unable to cope with a problem or find a solution. After trying to fix my computer for hours with no success, I was at my wit's end and didn't know what else to do. I was at the end of my tether. Someone is at the limit of their patience, endurance, or resources. It implies a feeling of being unable to cope with a situation any longer and being close to a breaking point. After dealing with my noisy neighbors for months, I was at the end of my tether and decided to talk to the building management. Feeling bored To be fed up To be tired, annoyed, or frustrated with a situation or someone's behavior. It implies a feeling of having had enough and not being willing to tolerate something any longer. I'm fed up with my job. I work long hours and never get any recognition for my hard work.
to be fed up to the back teeth with. To be extremely annoyed, frustrated, or exasperated with something or someone. It implies a deep sense of irritation and a complete lack of patience regarding a particular situation or behavior. I'm fed up to the back teeth with my neighbor's loud parties every weekend. I'm bored to tears. Someone is extremely bored, to the point of feeling very uninterested and unengaged. It implies a sense of extreme tedium and lack of stimulation. After sitting through the long and tedious lecture, I was bored to tears. I'm bored to death. Someone is extremely bored, to the point of feeling very uninterested and unengaged. It implies a sense of extreme tedium and lack of stimulation. After waiting for hours in the waiting room, I was bored to death. To be cheesed off with. To be annoyed, irritated, or fed up with something or someone. It implies a feeling of frustration or displeasure. I'm really cheesed off with my colleague for constantly taking credit for my work. To have had it up to here. To be extremely frustrated, annoyed, or fed up with a situation or someone's behavior. It implies a feeling of reaching the limit of one's patience or tolerance. I've had it up to here with my roommate's constant messiness and lack of consideration for shared spaces. Feeling happy. To be over the moon.
to be extremely happy, delighted, or thrilled about something. It implies a feeling of great joy or excitement. When I found out that I got accepted into my dream university, I was over the moon. To be tickled pink. To be extremely pleased, delighted, or amused by something. It implies a feeling of great satisfaction or happiness. When I received the surprise birthday party, I was tickled pink by the effort my friends had put into it. To be on cloud nine. To be extremely happy, elated, or overjoyed about something. It implies a feeling of euphoria or extreme contentment. When I found out that I had won the competition, I was on cloud nine for the rest of the day. To be thrilled to bits. To be extremely pleased, excited, or delighted about something. It implies a feeling of great happiness or satisfaction. When I got the job offer, I was thrilled to bits because it was my dream job. It made my day. Something has significantly improved one's day, often by bringing joy, happiness, or a positive experience. It implies that the event or action had a very positive impact on the person's overall mood or outlook. Receiving a heartfelt compliment from a stranger really made my day. It was music to my ears. Something was very pleasant or gratifying to hear. It implies that the information or sound was highly enjoyable or satisfying, similar to the pleasure derived from listening to beautiful music. When my boss told me I was getting a promotion, it was music to my ears.